Alright guys, so I'm going to show you how to attach an electronic focuser onto your telescope. So in this example I'm going to use the Radian Raptor 61 with the Radian focuser, but um, I've also done this with my mid 70mm APO and the ZW electronic focuser and it was exactly the same process. So this should allow you to learn how to install pretty much any uh, focuser of this type onto your telescope. So in this case, the Radian focuser came in a small box which contained uh, one paper with explanation on how to attach it. Pretty straightforward. It also had two cables, one for the USB and one to the power, and three hex keys, which is all you need to attach it on your telescope. And of course, the focuser itself, which is all black. Looks pretty nice, pretty simple, and uh, of course, it does not clash with the colors of the Radian Raptor. All right, so here is everything that was in the box and the telescope ready to be going under surgery. So first, we're going to grab one of the hex keys and completely loosen the fine focus knob. And go ahead and take it off completely. Then you can do the same for the regular focus knob which is the same screw. So use the same X key and take it off. Now we have the focuser completely open without any knobs. And now we can grab the actual radiant focuser or any one you have and insert it uh, just like that. Try to make it fit all the way. And then on this particular model, there is one screw to tighten on the side to make sure the focuser is properly tightened. So on this model, to make sure everything is working fine, uh, try to actually rotate the band there. Uh, it should be locked until you disengage the focuser, and once you do that, it should freely uh, rotate with your fingers. And this allows you to manually focus if you don't want to do it through the PC. And then of course, make sure to keep those previous knobs somewhere safe in case you want to remove the focuser later, just so you have a way to put everything back as it was before. And now we can connect the cables. They both go to the USB ports on a computer, but if you want to save one of those spots, uh, you can actually replace the uh, power cable with a regular power 12 volt to 12 volt cable that will go to the battery or the Pegasus box or something else. And then to use this with ASCOM, you're gonna have to install the drivers and you can just simply uh, scan the QR code on the manual there to be directed to the uh, web page where you can download this. It's pretty simple, it takes just a few seconds. And this allows you to use this with SGP or Nina, whatever you have that uses ASCOM. And if you don't want to use ASCOM, you can also follow a link on the manual there, uh, which will direct you to a page where you can directly control the focuser through this page, which is pretty interesting as you can see here. But for us, we're just going to use ASCOM on a regular with SGP. So this procedure was very similar to most other focusers in this price range. The ZWO focuser was a bit more difficult to install because there was an extra metal piece to install, uh, but besides that, uh, this was really, really straightforward. So I hope this video will help you, and if you have any questions, let me know in the comments, and I will try my best to answer you. Alright, clear skies, and have fun with your automatic focusing from now on.